It's the eighth day of the Electronic Games Advent Calendar project, and as much fun as the Wire Maze game has been, I am so ready for something new. So let's take a peek behind door number eight and see what circuit we're building today. So we have a push button. So today's project is a quiz buzzer. Let's go ahead and build this circuit. Okay, so we've built the quiz buzzer project. Let's see what happens when we press the buttons. Again, 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 again. Okay, so this is a simple modification of the previous maze game. Instead of using the flying lead and hook to contact the metal wire, we're simply grounding out the connections using the push buttons. But how does the microcontroller know about all these different programs that we've been asking it to run? Well, if you think back to day two, I suggested we could remove this resistor here and have no impact on the operation. But let's see what happens when we do that now. Okay, so that's certainly an unhappy microcontroller. Let's put that resistor back. And now we should find the buzzer works just as before. So how does this work? Well, on day two, we had an extra wire link just here, which grounded out this pin when no resistor was attached. That meant it knew which program to run. The pin with the resistor is actually an input pin. The microcontroller can use an analog to digital converter, or ADC, to determine how much voltage is present on that pin. By adjusting the resistor and wire links, we can vary that voltage and indicate to the microcontroller that we want different programs to run. If, like me, you're curious about what other programs and secrets are hiding inside the IC, make sure you're subscribed so you can catch tomorrow's video. And in the meantime, why not check out my vintage electronics and retro computing content right here on YouTube.